Hello everyone and welcome to the game formerly known as Simple Rockets 2. It is currently known as Juno New Origins and it says after six years of hard work and commitment what began as a simple rocket simulator has become a sophisticated aerospace sandbox in which you can bring to life anything you can imagine from rockets, airplanes, and cars to entire planets. You can bring to life entire planets? <laughs> um, I missed that part. Over time, the more we added, the more Simple Rockets 2 outgrew its name. With much consideration, we've decided to change the name to Juno New Origins, a title that symbolizes a new start. So I am here to figure out what this is all about. It sure seems like it's mostly focused on making rockets. <laughs> it, it starts you off not in like a space center screen or something like that, but with a rocket right in front of you. So we are going to see, I, I suspect it's mostly the same, but then it says something about making entire planets. Cars too is a little bit of a stretch I feel, but all right, well, we, we'll obviously just call this raised aerospace. And we'll just jump right into it. I guess it's got a career mode thing, but uh, hold on, let's go back. Oh, it will, oh, it says version 1.0 will include the career mode update. Okay, so this is actually early access 0.9.926 and we are, we do not have a career mode yet. We just have the regular old mode. But there's a planet studio, which I have not seen before. Create a planet apparently is a thing that can happen in here. Now see, I hope they make it easier to make new star systems in KSP2. We'll have to see about that. Uh, all right, uh, uh, the rock. <laughs> I have named a moon-like planet the rock. I I don't know, but where is it putting it? Okay. Um. Oh. Ah. Uh, I can't zoom out. The reason I noticed this was because in Steam, Juno New Origins needed an update and I was like wait I don't have a game called Juno New Origins and then so I looked at it and I go oh that's Simple Rockets 2 all right so then that's when I noticed that it had changed its name otherwise it wouldn't have noticed at all um, fine I'm gonna have a ring rebuild is required oh it says rebuild is required okay how do I rebuild then oh I, okay I think this is the rebuild button all right all right Okay, all right. Um, fine. As water. Rebuild. Ew. Color gradient. Um. Oh, I, I have to move this one. Oh, okay. That's weird, though. I just turned off. And I need to rebuild. All right. Okay, okay, okay. But we, we should do rockets. All right. It has different launch pads. DSC launch pad. DSC large pad. Main runway. Alley pad. Luna base. Oh. Let's just keep it simple. Right, well, this is familiar. Oh, this, uh, does the pod come with a heat shield, or do we need a separate heat shield? Oh, I've got an extra pod there. Ocean, electronics, control and descent. Heat shield. Okay. Well, we can tweak the heat shield just like that. That's nice. Um, and I need a decoupler. Well, that looks better than your average uh, KSP jet engine, huh? Interstate. Oh, they can't. Okay. Uh, you gotta let me sort by something. It's not sorted by alphabetical order. I don't know what the logic here is. Size, maybe? But then the inlet is at the bottom. We can put a text. That's nice. No, but I can't click on the text again. Uh, 
The text doesn't let me rotate it though. Oh no, there's more. Why shouldn't I use it? But it doesn't let me type in it, it doesn't let me rotate it, so I don't know. Maybe uh, under some of the other options it would, but... Hmm. Okay, what I'm looking for is a decoupler, because right now we've got this attached directly to our heat shield, and that's probably not good. Hemisphere, nose cone, fuel tank, strut, bay, bay, bay interstage. Okay, here we go. Why do we need that big an interstage? Okay, um, we're seven. Yeah, let's call it seven tons. No mention. Mass and price very. Oh, yeah, this again. It says as close to a deflating balloon as possible, but it's really big still. Solid booster? Pixie engine. That The pixie engine's huge. I guess this is all just the look of the thing, but some of them have differences. Like this is a nuclear thermal engine. This is... it says it's RP-1. I mean, some of them clearly have... Uh, this one says it's inefficient because it's solid. Low power engine for second stages and landing on... But this is... that's for landing? I mean... No... select a part. Okay. Mass, 34 kilograms. Tiny. Liquid, pressure fed, Carolox, Hydrolox, Mephalox. Mephalox is fine. The maximum chamber pressure is only 1 megapascal? It doesn't tell me what the actual thrust is. Advanced part setting. How much thrust is it? <laughs> nah, right clicking doesn't do anything. Gimbal range should better not be that much. It's dangerous. Analyze performance. Oh, okay. Okay, well, for certain bodies, that'll be enough. Exhaust velocity is horrible. Still only get 2,744, which is like 280... 280 seconds ISP. You have a Raptor with 300? That's basically 300 seconds of ISP. That's not a whole lot for Methalox. Um, electric. How do we even electric this? Well, it actually has ISP up there. Why does it think that 2,744 meters per second is 292? That's a little bit off. I, I, I guess it's an uh, electric pump. Well, it is in vacuum. I want in vacuum. I always go for vacuum. 275. Uh, Methalox gas generator engine with a chamber pressure of 7.5 megapascals, which is 75 atmospheres, let's say, or what is that? Well, more than a thousand psi with a big, uh, big, big nozzle. It has 275 seconds of ISP. Solid. Monopropellant. Nuclear thermal. There's no boil off in here. <laughs> is there? Planet is also smaller. Yeah, I guess it's like Kerbal. I mean, it's hev it isn't heavier, is it? Well, no, it's 2.8 tons. Yeah, it is heavier. Delta V. All stages. 380 meters per second only? Wow. Water is an option. Okay, well let's go to this again. We have to double click that. This is 1800. I guess it's because the... The hydrogen would take a much bigger tank or something. Okay. Nozzle, nozzle, cone nozzle, delta nozzle, aerospike nozzle, nuclear thermal aerospike. 
I want to I want this to be able to land on something and come back. Hmm. Okay, we need landing legs. I mean, maybe but then maybe there's the journey back part. Let's have a journey back part. How long does this last? Burn time 10 minutes. Shoot. The mass down there doesn't seem affected. Like, right now, it's a 36 kilogram engine, right? And then, but, oh, I guess uh, the mass of the fuel in the tank is different. How about if I change to water? Oh, then it's much heavier, yeah. And it gets a lot of delta V. Boy, they really take their hydrogen density seriously around here. ISP is only 400, though. But if we try to do liquid hydrogen here, hydrolox, we only get 358. So you might as well go with water and a nuclear. Nuclear thermal aerospike? Well, shoot. Uh, yeah, water. Four oh nine, though. I don't know if that's how spikes work, but okay. Um. Uh, 4.09 or 4.19. Can we just make this the all-powerful stage of all things or something? Landing legs. Can we just, maybe we should just do fins. Control and descent. Merlin leg. Oh gosh. Well, I mean, we can size them. How do we do symmetry again? If I reduce the throat size, we get less thrust, but that should be all right. And then, of course, we can get a bigger nozzle length, but... Mode. Mirror. Radial. Oh, okay, there we go. Length. Two. Size. Deployed angle. Hmm. Now we might need to make the tank bigger. How do I convince it to go up again? Oh, when I'm not focused on it. Can I tweak you up? Uh. Donut tank. Yeah, I want the donut tank. Second thing all the way to the right. This. This. Move part. Okay. Okay, so we can tuck it in. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Alright. This still has the symmetry setting. That's good. Starting thrust weight ratio 0.35. Let's just go with that, maybe. Tall ladder? Do we do ladders? Does this game... Does this game have ladders at all? I don't think this does ladders. There's these piston legs. Hold on. Maybe, maybe those will be lighter. Uh, I don't think they're lighter. Yeah, but then, then they got interfered with the inner stage. I don't like that. Well, but it does have astronauts. Or druids, sorry. Druids. And seats. So I don't know. Alright, well, I'll take that. How do I even pick between these except for just the look of them? Uh... And it's sad because since we can scale them any way we like, we never need more than one per stage, right? I mean, well, I guess if we go really high end. Does this thing have a reaction wheel kind of thing? Or do we always need RCS thrusters? Gyroscope. Attitude control without thrust uses electricity. Ah. Uh... Well, we might want a smaller one of those. 
no Arceus? Do I need to add a... Do I need to add the gyroscope at all or not? No, I don't need to add a gyroscope. Well, fine then. We don't need RCS unless I guess we're docking. I guess the slope on the top doesn't look too bad. Okay. Oh, the the floor just comes along with me anyway. It doesn't have to I don't have to shift it up. Apex engine. Oh gosh, we'll save that. That's F1. Um Wyvern, fine. I'm tr I always try to hold down Alt to stick it on a node, but that apparently does not happen here. Okay. Here we need a, uh, like, thousand ton engine. I mean, uh, sorry, thousand kilonewton engine. Hmm. Here's your full flow staged Mephalox, Pekka. Gaining a whopping 316 seconds of ISP. This is still gotta be a vacuum stage. Well, that's as vacuumy as I can get it with the highest possible chamber pressure and full flow stage combustion. Still only 328. So that's 4,200 meters per second. What if we just nuclear this again? <laughs> And we used, uh, whatchamacallit, water. It still says 4,200. Oh, that's all stages. Oops. Oh, it's not got staging right? Interstage. Oh, it's the, I've got the interstages reversed. Ah, okay. Let's try and get on par with what the what delta v the mephalox one had yeah, it's still not a lot of thrust well we could increase the throat size and get more thrust that's still not a thrust weight ratio of one though Okay, fine, we'll not do nuclear thermal. Hydrolux? Well, at least we got 404. Burn time, 34 seconds. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll need a bigger tank. Whoa. Always wants to go to the side there. 1.6 minutes, but fair amount of delta V, but I guess we can get more than that. I don't even know how wide this is. How wide is this? They're planning to add a career mode, then we'll have to worry about prices. And that's about the right delta V that we'd want from the stage. I bet you that's more than we need for practically anything around here. Three point one minutes. Uh, I'll keep that. Okay, new stage. I mean, while it's not career mode, we might as well make a big rocket or a big-ish rocket. Apex engine. Well, we can configure it to anything. The nodes are tiny now. Gas generator Mephalox. Oh, I guess it's this one, 253. Nozzle Omega. There's an Omega. There's a Bravo, too. Four kilometers per second to orbit. Okay, so we've already got that in here, if we want to. Um, so, orbit, transfer, landing, and return is basically what we're looking at. 
The transfer probably won't take that much. It's gonna have a really high thrust weight ratio at the end like this though. Okay. Well, that's just the thrust weight ratio of exactly one. Um, let's get a slightly higher throat. Well, that'll be a very gradual liftoff. I'm gonna put fins. Can you put fins? Fins. Now it's like a redstone rocket, but not. Uh, we'll have it evenly sitting on the fins and the nozzle, maybe. Don't know, that little blue area is- oops. Gosh. That little blue area is presumably the control surface? I don't know what that's supposed to be like. Do we get to name our rocket? Save craft. Um... Redstone F one. <laughs> okay, Redstone F one. Now, uh, staging is fine. If I take it off and check this out, hopefully staging will stay fine. What I want to know is where can we land here? Obviously, we can't land on Drew. We could land on Brigo. We can land on Luna. We can land. TT, that's too high a thrust weight ratio. Celero, barely we can land on. Niobe is way too much thrust weight ratio. Herma, way too much. Andrew's Comet, way too much. Tidos, no good, that's like Tylo. Nebra, barely. Miros, uh, possible. Orcus, yes. Urados, no. And Boreas, maybe. Taurus, sure. Hepachion, sorta. Balco, no. Sergia, no. Drew, we already went through, so. Try Luna. Okay, we'll try Luna first. I've probably landed on the moon in this game before, though, but maybe they changed things. Okay. Undo. I guess we hit this to proceed, right? Oh, you got a Saturn V there. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to make one, but they've got one there. And then this... Hopefully, it's the right way around. Who knows? I don't think we gotta do translation. Activate stage. I'll just put it on my trigger. That's sort of fun. I never had uh, staging be on my trigger before. Okay, the uh, throttle's right, right way around. Um, which way's east? I guess we're going over water. I think that's reasonable, right? Okay. Mm, here we go, maybe? It's not going up. It's definitely the bottom engine. What have I forgotten? Oh, it's going up really, 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 really slowly now. Atmosphere. A lot more resistant. I think I'll just stay pointing up for a while. 
We may need to change that. Oh, I only tried tested the vacuum thrust rate ratio. The ISP was so low that it looked like it was the sea level one. Right, I mean, uh, it always looks like the sea level ISP. It fooled me. That's alright, though. We'll get there somehow. The The landscape looks a lot better than the last time I played. Oh, um, this way. Let me just quickly check. Uh, I don't seem to have control. Do I? Oh, maybe really, really slowly. Oh, that's not the right way. In-game way? Oh, maybe I should disable the in-game way. This is no good. Um, maybe I have to disable that or something. Uh, toggle nav sphere. That's what that is, right? I don't want to lock anything. It seems locked right now. No, it, it, it's it's like it's resistant to the way I'm trying to turn it. It tries to go back to the previous. But I, I guess it's not that all-encompassing. I don't know if we're going in the right direction or not. <laughs> It'll be all right eventually, maybe. What's uh, atmospheric height? Silly way? I'm using a joystick. It's not the silly way. This is the right way. Using that weird thingamajiggy is the silly way. We're probably in an intensely lopsided orbit. Let's see. M for map? Um... I think we're polar. <laughs> We've gone polar. It's fine. It's not as high as I thought we would be. But we're still at 300 kilometers. We'll have to wait a bit. I've done something interesting so that it can actually challenge me. It's fine. Time warp is the same buttons. Oh, pause. Oops. No, I don't want quarter. Jeez. Okay, go. Uh, we're limited to two X while we're burning. It looks like. I guess it's... Now ball. Due south. No, oh, that's the program vector over there. Whoa, 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 no, don't do that. Don't, do Do you hear me? It does fight me. Ah! Uh, I need to turn whatever stabilization system it has off. It, it doesn't even want to go where I want it to go right now. I think we really wanted a gyroscope thingy. No, there's some uh, bodies over there. Okay, how does the whole plotting system work around here? So, we'll need to time warp a bit. Because they're over there, and we're not getting to them like that. Or we could just uh, go out first, and then time warp in the high orbit. Uh, it looks like it's getting captured by something or another. Not captured, but a flyby. Can we focus view on that? I don't know. I mean, I, uh, that'll be all right for now, I think. Um, one thousand two hundred and eighty-one. We should have that. It's just a straight prograde burn. Let's see. Well, it turns fine like that. Well, okay, I, I said that, but it, it doesn't. <laughs> the magenta markers for the maneuver? Or the orange marker, you mean? 
I mean, you mean the magenta marker here? They, couldn't they have made the same color on the thingy as on the nav ball? Wouldn't that have made more sense? Oh well. That wobbles way too much. Okay. I've ignited the engine. Does it only have one ignition? Wait. Oh, it's paused. Ha. There we go. I guess it won't show me the moon part of it for now. Is it Drood or Dude or whatever it's called? We hardly knew you. Please have an inter... <laughs> Please intercept it somehow. Okay, 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 okay. Is that the moon? It looks more like Jupiter. Uh, how does one radio it with this? It's not going in the direction I my actual control has told it to go in. Um, something on the right. Uh, uh, in the other view, in this view, navsir panel. Ah, current heading. Ah! Stupid little hidden icons. It's still not maneuvering right. It's still not maneuvering right. Okay, I think pitch is reversed. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, radio, radio. Uh, no, over there! It's over there! Yeah, sure it can control things well. <laughs> it missed it! It missed it! It's over there! It's... It's... It's back there. This is prograde. I'm definitely not relying on it for landing, are you crazy? Look how it turns! It was perfectly calm when I left it. It's, it's it's it caused itself to be uncalm. I am basically stable on the normal marker. I'm gonna give it a little bit of thrust. Maybe it'll point in the right direction like that. Um, why did that disappear now? Okay, don't disappear my orbit. Let's see if it can turn without wobbling. It was stable before. No, that's already missing it. It didn't even turn to the right place. That's horrible. Solar panels? I don't know. Uh, we don't have any numbers, so I can't see my electric charge. Time warp is cheating. <laughs> Let it fix itself. Honestly, and uh, landing is a timely thing. And you expect it to do this properly? Does it do the? I mean, I, I was thinking of the KSP time warp thing where it stabilizes automatically. But you're just saying it's gonna take extra time for it to stabilize. But look. Let, let's go 10x. Finally at 10x it can point at it. Now, that is cheating. At, at the way it was going, it wasn't going to go directly to it. Yeah, no, it, it, it cheat rotated. It, it didn't actually... The, the control mechanism that was operating at 1x and 2x was not the same control mechanism that operated at 10x. Basically at 10x it was told to go straight to prograde. Whereas at 1x and 2x, it had this wobbly thing going. I wish it would just have the 10x version at 1x and 2x too. <laughs> but those are two different control mechanisms that it had right there. So it is cheating. How does it get those bands? Okay. Well, to figure out whether I actually get into orbit, I don't know if it shows... Surface orbit. It doesn't show my periapsis or apoapsis in this view. Is there a way to see that? 
Uh, Orit, okay. Well, then we can... But it doesn't show our periapsis right now, so I don't know if it really can give us that information. My maneuver node confused it. Oh, okay. So easily confused this thing. Oh, there's a big guy. Uh, it's, like, it's like the Death Star. Just notice that. Some of those Death Star wounds. Well, we'll just go straight into a descent, I think. Uh, I'm tempted to go in the crater, but let's just keep it simple. Okay, please do not control this. Uh, we, we won't try and be super efficient here, I think. We're going straight down. Okay, okay, no. Stop. Oh, it's actually got one of those trail-off things. Our nuclear engine! Powered by water. Well, that's not the deceleration I was expecting. This is a vacuum, right? No, no, we're, we're still fine, I think. Maybe. <laughs> uh, well, okay, the other tank exploded on the ground. No boom, I guess only selective sound in space. And it's still very annoying to control craft in this. Oh, gosh. They need to, like, change this control scheme dramatically. Uh... Oh god, it's horrible. Okay, 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 let's stop, 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 stop. And then the, there's a thrust tail off that I don't need. No, it yeah, well, yeah, well, it's like copying the worst implementation of KSP controls ever, <laughs> basically. Uh, it is. There's so much control lag. It's just ridiculous amounts of control lag. Okay, well, we, we landed. There's, there's nothing that can pop up or anything. There was a time when SAS was horrible. It's sort of like that now. Uh, let's get rid of the maneuver. Which, uh... I guess that's like that. Alright. Controls are an issue. The, the music puts me to sleep, too. But, yeah. The controls are a bit bad. Uh, anyway, we are going to try and get back, and then we will improve our rocket. Uh, maybe I should go flying now, because I want to cover the Falcon Heavy launch. So, after we get back, I'll fly, and then we'll try this out some other time again. They're supposed to be releasing 1.0 at some point, and then it'll have a career mode, which should be interesting. Anyway, at least I set up my main controls so that they work. The acceleration on this was definitely not as advertised. We're in vacuum. It should work. Ah. Okay, let's just coast. The thrust tail off on this is... If, if engines took that long to die down, it'd be... We'd never get accurate orbits. Imagine if uh, Merlin engine 
landing the the rocket on the barge took that long to have its tail off. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Larger scale versus KSP. I think the moon, uh, it's about the same size. It seems like everything's about the same size, actually. As stock, of course. The our orbital velocity, if I had uh, made this nicer, we would have gotten into orbit with about the same speed. This isn't a... Uh, uh, well, I mean, the nuclear engine didn't specify turbo pumps or not turbo pumps, but presumably it's a turbo pump engine. We... Uh, no, no, I don't want to do that. I just want that one to keep appearing. Oh, shoot. Fine, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll have it hold the maneuver thing. I don't know whether it's arrival time. I think it's arrival time's the actual node, so we might as well just go. Probably won't make too much of a difference anyway. Battery, 86%. So we can see our battery here. But whether we need any more battery than what we're carrying. We don't have any solar panels or anything. It doesn't seem like we need too much. No, it doesn't really have the information I need. I do have to be in the map view, I think. That doesn't show our resulting orbit, though. Has that long thrust tail off, but still an infinite thrust range. Hello. Oh, putts paused. Okay, I don't like the time warp steps having pause at the bottom like that. <laughs> I I constantly pause the game accidentally. I just automatically very quickly hit comma to lower the time scale, and so I always end up paused. My favorite is always like 26, that I'll probably do. No comms to worry about. Okay. Oh, there it's paused again. Uh, go normal. Let's tuck this over here. Okay. Stage. Oh, we've got heat. Oh, that paused again. Oh, we're certainly not going back up again. Yeah, I think people underestimate how valuable Kerbals are to the thing. It's tough to get into it without Kerbals, really. You need characters. Uh, I guess Parachute will be fine now, maybe? I've, uh, staged. But the Parachute isn't doing anything yet. Is it gonna do something? Oh, there. So we landed on the moon and came back. I guess I should do uh, another planet. Is there an Eve-like planet in this where it's really, really, really hard to land and get back up from again? Except for actual gas giants. Oh, I'm limited to 2x. Oh, that's irritating. <laughs> I'm limited to 2x as we wait for the parachute part. 9 meters per second by default. Oh. Okay. Um. That's rather sunk, <laughs> I guess. Uh, are there floats? <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's a nominal way for a capsule to be at all, but... Okay, fine, um... End? I don't, I don't know... Okay, I guess I'm done! End flight. Two days. Max velocity, 4,724 meters per second, if you say so. That tells you where max Q was. That's pretty high, but then again, we had a very low thrust weight ratio. Save and exit? I guess save and exit. 